Hi everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop, and I hope you're having a very happy and healthy baking day today. For those of you that are new to watching my videos, I take recipes and I try and clean them up by adding in or replacing some unhealthy ingredients with some healthier options. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be making a chocolate espresso sandwich cookie. And to start that off, we're going to be using some holy pastry flour, some brown sugar. Now this is organic and I do make my own. If you go to my website, cinnamonsweetshop.com, you can learn how to make your own as well. Dutch processed unsweetened cocoa powder, some espresso powder. You can also use instant coffee powder if you don't happen to have espresso on hand or just don't want to use that. My Earthbound Vegan Buttery Stick, soften the room temperature, two eggs, vanilla extract, baking powder, Spectrum brand shortening. This is a non-hydrogenated shortening found either in the health food store or the health food section of your grocery store. Sea salt. To make the sandwich filling, we're going to be using some rice mellow cream. It's a marshmallow cream found in the health food section of your store or in a health food store. It's really made of brown rice syrup. And I'm going to be using some chocolate chips. Now you could use chocolate chunks instead. The rice mellow is a very, very sweet product. So I recommend using either a bittersweet chocolate chip or chocolate chunks or even an unsweetened uh, chocolate and you just chop it up into very fine chunks. If that's if you don't have a real big sweet tooth. We're going to begin this by mixing together or beating together the brown sugar, the softened spread, the, or you could use butter if you don't happen to have vegan buttery spread, and the spectrum shortening. I'm going to beat this together for a couple of minutes till it's very, very well combined. Remember to scrape down the sides to make sure everything gets incorporated. Add in the eggs, vanilla, and salt. So we're going to add in the rest of the dried ingredients. So we have the powder, the espresso, cocoa powder, and the whole wheat pastry flour. And then just beat this together again until it's well combined. I'm going to wrap the dough into some plastic wrap and refrigerate this for about an hour for it to firm up. I'll see you back here in one hour. Now I'm going to be taking these about one inch size balls. You can make them as big as you would like and just place them about one and a half inches apart on the baking sheet. Now with the palm of your hand or the bottom of a glass if you don't want to get your hands dirty. We're going to just flatten the cookies down. Bake these in a 375 degree oven for about 9 to 11 minutes and then we're going to have them cooled completely before filling them. While I'm waiting for the cookies to cool, I'm going to start making the filling. So I melted the chocolate. I did let it cool a little bit so it's not too, too warm. I'm just going to add it into the rice mellow and mix that up. Okay, so these cookies are cool and they're nice dark chocolatey and they're really good to eat plain if you don't want to make sandwiches out of them. Um, I do like mine big, as you could see. You can make them smaller, more the shape of an Oreo cookie if that's what you choose to do. For the filling, now I don't really like to put a lot of filling in. Um, again, this is a very sweet type of filling and it's, it's also very sticky and gooey. So I just like to put in just enough 
so that you know it's a sandwich cookie. So I'm just gonna dollop in there about a teaspoonful, a little bit more than a teaspoonful. And then take the top part and just flatten it down so it squeezes out a little bit toward the side. And there you have your sandwich. This is a cookie sandwich, and it's a damn good one, too. Don't forget for this recipe or my other recipes, check out my website at cinnamonsweetshop.com. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for so much more baking, cookie cake decorating, and some personal videos as well. And I'll see you next time.